At Radiobotics, we do uh, automatic analysis of uh, x-rays within the musculoskeletal domain, which is your classic x-ray of bone and joints. If you break your arm, we'll look at it for you. So right now, there is a huge lack of uh, specialized doctors. In this case, it's radiologists. They, there's, there's simply not enough of them to describe the amount of x-rays and medical images that are being taken at the hospitals. So you can have a computer identifying what the problem is. Exactly. So we build machine learning algorithms that can detect diseases in x-rays. In the rest of Europe, there's only more patients, more images being taken, and there's just fewer and fewer specialized doctors to take a look at them. So we're using uh, machine learning algorithms, deep learning, computer vision. Uh, some call it AI. Um, to, to automatically analyze these images and uh, augment them with uh, annotations to, to help the doctors interpret them. And we also, in some cases, uh, interpret them and describe them for the radiologist so that they can simply um, approve or description of the image. The good thing for the technology we are building is that actually the data we need it can be fully anonymized. And that means that we don't need to know who you are, where you come from, what you've done before. We just need the x-ray of whatever you have been taking up with your knee or your elbows or shoulders or everything. We just need that and then we need the description from the from the doctor, right? I think the whole regulatory aspect is actually a, a, hur a hurdle for the whole industry. The health tech uh, and, and, and all the hospital systems are uh, dominated by rather large players who have been there in many years. They are not as good as delivering, at delivering the new sort of way of approaching this, the more disruptive services. If, if everybody is relying on healthcare innovation, we also need to open a little bit more up towards players like us and they need to find ways that we can work together as well. If we can cover more different kinds of images and more different kinds of diseases, that will be the ideal scenario for us in 2030. Thank you so much.